Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the session. The objective of this session is to find out how to create a purchase order with respect to a purchase requisition. Uh, so what we are going to do is we will first create a purchase requisition. The transaction code is ME51N. So let's type in ME51N and uh, this will open up the purchase requisition screen you can see here this is your purchase requisition screen that has popped up so i am just going to enter the material number i have a material number 100 hyphen 100 so let's me pick up a quantity as 10 and unit as pc and uh, plant as the thousand i'm not picking up uh, the details like purchasing group or purchasing organization or the vendor I want to pick that up while creating the purchase order itself so I have just got it and I'm going to press enter now the reason why I have to enter is that so that every details all the details like pricing everything has been picked up by the uh, system itself so you can see here everything is being picked up and uh, the good thing is that it has picked up the purchasing group as well um, because it this purchasing group it would have picked up from the purchase info record basically of this material would have been maintained so i'm going to save this to get my purchase requisition created so let's see so here you can see that the purchase requisition is created and the number is seven double zero double zero zero fourth way okay now this is this sounds good now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create my purchase order now there are two options if you're creating a purchase order you either you can you can see here there's something like document overview of now what is used to use of this the uh, plus point of this is that if i'm going to say document overview on now whatever the documents i would have created i can see here the entire list right now if you look at it is actually picking up like my purchase orders my purchase requisitions so it's already on here so here my purchase requisition is there that means i mean whatever the purchase requisition i would have created here you can see the entire list now here we need a standard purchase order now what i'm going to do is i am going to create the purchase order with reference to the purchase requisition that was created earlier so we created 7000000043 as a purchase requisition. So pick this, drag it to the shopping cart, what you can see here. Now this is a shopping cart. If you pick this automatically, whatever the details of this document of this purchase requisitions are, it will be transferred to this purchase order. Now you can see here, system is processing all the details. So now we can see that all the details of this purchase requisitions would have been transferred to the purchase order. So basically in SAP term, it is like referencing a document. So here you can see the material what we have picked up, the quantity, and then we need to see the plant. You can see the plant, even the storage location. And the most important thing would be the purchase requisition number. You can see here, it has actually got your purchase requisition number. Now the second option is that if in case you really do not want to have your document overview on and you really do not want to drag it from here, you can straight away give your purchase requisition number here like this and press enter. Automatically it will pick up all the details. You need not to uh, do anything else. So that is another way. Now I am just going to give the vendor and I am going to give the purchase organization number and press enter. So once I'm done, you can see that the purchase order, all the details are filled up. I'm just going to check the uh, purchase order if it is complete. If there are any issues or system issued messages, you will always uh, get that. So you can see a no message generated. So I will suggest OK. And I'm going to save this purchase order. So I'm going to say save. And you can see my purchase order being ready. So this is how you would be creating your purchase order with respect to your purchase requisition. You can see here, my purchase order is ready. So let me go and check if all the details are proper in this. Stroke N, ME22N. And I would be giving my purchase order number there. So it would uh, give me a 
okay so here you can see that uh, the purchase order all the details are absolutely perfect so there is nothing wrong with it uh, the purchase requisition the delivery schedule everything is absolutely app so this is how you would be creating a purchase order with respect to your purchase requisition thank you for watching this video please do subscribe to our channel so that uh, uh, you keep on getting the latest updates from us thank you so much